Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree Zarts. Alright everybody, so for today's video, I figured that we would get back to the basics and do some regular, everyday home decor. I did a poll over on my community tab and most of you just wanted to see the everyday stuff that you can have up in your house all year long. So the vibe of today's projects is very calming and very, very neutral. Now keep in mind, all of the colors or really not colors that I'm using, you can switch it up to whatever color matches your home decor. And of course, for these projects, I've used mostly Dollar Tree, some Dollarama items, and also some items from Amazon. And with all of that being said, you guys, let's get into the first DIY. And here we go, neutral vibes, DIY number one. All right, so you guys, taking one of the wine bottles that I just found in my cabinet, I washed it out, and then I had some of these bamboo sticks. I got them off of Amazon, I'm pretty sure. I'll try to link them down in the description box. And I painted them white, and now I'm just gluing them onto the bottle here. And I did leave a little bit of space at the bottom. So you can see here, I'm kind of using my measuring mat to make sure that my stakes are, you know, equal, equidistant uh, from each other. And I painted up four of them. I'm just going to use four. Just like that. And now just taking some bamboo skewers. I am just putting some hot glue at the very, very bottom of them. And then placing them in between my thicker bamboo sticks. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> And I'm just going to glue, I believe it was, it was either nine or 10 in between each one. And all the way around, again, just putting the hot glue at the very bottom. And if they're not completely straight, you guys, because a lot of times these bamboo skewers are not straight, that doesn't matter. Just as long as you have everything all lined up at the bottom, it all works out in the end. And if you wanted to make this vase with, you know, colored skewers, like paint them. It would be really cool, like with a nice light blue on there. Ooh, it would look so nautical. And there we go. There are all of my skewers all glued on to the bottle. Looks like it, it, that could be a dangerous weapon. <laughs> Okay, so just taking some of this nautical rope. I got this one at Dollarama, but of course you can get nautical rope at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just taking it and hot gluing it around the bottom here. Um, that's kind of why I left that space at the bottom because I wanted to make sure that, you know, everything was flush with whatever you're putting it on. So on the shelf um, so that it would sit level. And just going around and around and around and around with my hot glue. And then you'll see here, I do just start to wind the the rope eventually, I'm pretty sure instead of, there we go. See, you just wind it around, make sure that it's nice and tight, push it down, and then throw a little bit of hot glue um, at the end there, just to secure it. You don't have to use a whole lot of hot glue around this. And then I'm just going to cut that rope off at an angle so that it sits a little bit more flush with uh, the row before, I guess. And now, oh, you guys, this is where I wish I had two sets of hands because this was a struggle, I'm not going to lie. 
Um, I'm not going to show you, but this took me like three times to actually have this work. <laughs> so I just grabbed some zip ties and I would just push them down there so that I could bring all of those skewers into the middle. Um, and then I'm going to start hot gluing my rope here. So you can imagine, you know, the zip ties would like pop off on the top and then I might have said some swear words and then <laughs> continued on. But then you can see there that I did go around the white bamboo shoot too and then just gluing the rope down with some hot glue all the way around. I hope that makes sense. I do go a little bit out of frame in this, you guys. I'm really, really sorry. I was super concentrated on what I was doing instead of having this where you guys could see but you can you can see what I'm doing here I'm just wrapping it around and around and around um you do want to use the hot glue all the way up though because you don't want the skewers because there is a lot of pressure right so you don't want the skewers to you know start popping <laughs> uh, the struggle is real for for sure <laughs> and so here completely out of frame I am just finishing it off at the top there and uh, going around hot gluing it down so that it's nice and finished and then I do um, take my scissors at some point I'm still gluing still gluing there we go um, or my wire cutters as well and just clipped off the zip tie and it worked like a charm it worked like a charm You know, as long as you get there at the end. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And really, you guys, that is pretty much it. I'm just securing a little bit more hot glue on there. And isn't it pretty? I think it's so cute. And oh, I just I did take my lighter and just, you know, burn off some of the fuzzies and whatnot. I just think it's like really neutral. And, you know, it does give me some beach vibes and whatnot. So I love it. I think it's so, so great. still neutral vibing with DIY number two all right you guys so I got this decor piece from Dollarama and I'm pretty sure it's about it's either eight or ten inches this this circle here and I'm just removing the original hanger and the tag and then I was going to try to sand down all of those letters but they just they were not coming off and then they were kind of scratching the surface and I didn't want that so I figured you know with enough layers of paint I could probably just get rid of that with paint so I am using my white chalk paint by Folk Art and I did end up doing three coats of the white chalk paint. And I do the front, the back, and all the way around the edge there. And now these wooden rings, they are actually for macrame. Um, I did find them at Dollarama. However, I'm sure you could, I've never seen them at Dollar Tree, but I'm sure you could find them um, like online or even, you know, down in the States, probably Hobby Lobby has them. <laughs> and so all I'm doing here is just hot gluing. I have a little pattern going. So I have two big rings and then one little ring. So two big ones and then one little one. And that's, will go all the way around the entire tray that we're making. And it might, oh, bless you. <laughs> My son just sneezed. 
<laughs> and so you might want to use wood glue on these. I just use hot glue just for time purposes and I'm not really going to be handling it very much. But look at that. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness. I love these wood rings, you guys. I love them. And now taking some ribbon. This is like a burlap ribbon, I guess. Got it at the Dollar Tree. There are three different styles. I liked this one the best because it kind of complemented the circles there. So I'm just taking that and going all the way around the rim of my tray here. Just as a really, really nice detail. Gives it some texture as well. And just a little, little bit of hot glue, put it down. You guys know the drill. All the way around. I love this tray. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty and it's so easy. Oh. And now I'm just flipping my tray over. And I am going to take some of my wood beads off of Amazon and just glue those on. So I did use six just because this is a fairly heavy tray. Like that decor piece was heavy. So, and you can see how nice and thick it is too. Oh, I just love it. So using six beads going around equidistant and just putting those on for our little feet of our tray and legit we are done and that is it and you can dress this up in so many ways you guys it's so pretty love it And our last neutral vibe DIY number three. Okay, using one of these pieces from uh, from Dollar Tree, and you can see here, like the prep for this is completely unnecessary. What I'm doing here because I do end up actually using the back. I was going to use the front of this, but I decided against it. So. Basically all I'm doing, those roses at the front, they were hot glued on. I'm just heating up the glue with my heat gun using my finger protector and then just removing that. And then you can see there, there's a big pile of scraps. I did try to remove the paper. I thought it might come off easy. It did not. So I gave up on that idea and decided to use the back. We're going to cover this all up anyways, so it doesn't really matter about that little thing there that I'm sanding down from the hanger in the back there. And just uh, magically, shablam, we have a white surface. So just taking some tissue paper, we're going to layer this stuff up, you guys. And the first thing that I do, because I want this to be super, super textured, is I'm just taking my tissue paper and giving it a really good crumple. And I do it a couple of times as well. So you can see there, scrunching it up, making sure it's nice and wrinkly. And then we are going to use some Mod Podge and stick that to our the backing here so when you're using tissue paper you guys make sure it is a fairly thin layer of mod podge because the tissue paper is so thin if you use a thick layer of mod podge you're just going to oversaturate the paper and then it's going to rip so easily so and you can see there i'm just kind of pat pat patting it down never rub the tissue paper always just pat it down because if you rub it you will tear it for sure so just patting that down making sure that the corners are adhered really well 
and then I will just uh, use my heat gun and just speed up the drying process just a little bit there. And then I will take some, do I cut this off first? Yes. Oh, I sand it off. So using my sanding block here, <laughs> I will just, in downward motions, um, sand off the excess tissue paper. And now I'm taking some of this tan, I guess, tissue paper here, and I'm just ripping it across there because I am, we're going to layer, you guys. This is all about layering. So grabbing some more Mod Podge and then putting my first layer down there. Tap, 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 tap. Make sure it's nice and adhered there. And then using my sanding block, sanding off the excess. So as we layer this on too, of course, it's going to get darker. So I kind of was going for hills maybe or sand dunes or I don't I don't really know I don't really know what my inspiration was here but I just wanted something very calming now it would be so beautiful to do um like this in greens as well and you could do you know a whole bunch of hills of green with your tissue paper and like I said as you layer it on the more layers the darker it is so it gives that illusion of distance right when you um, have it lighter at the top and then darker at the bottom then it looks like there's hills in the distance kind of I just love how this turned out I'm, I'm so happy with it you guys and so there's our third layer and just again mod podging it down sanding off the excess there Just like that you can see how it's coming together and then I wanted to do with that last layer there just one more I didn't want it to be any darker at the bottom but I did want just a tiny tiny bit more there so I took my white tissue paper and then gave that a rip and a few times there I, I wanted to have a fairly controlled rips so you can see there okay so that makes it look like the very very back of the like the last set of hills I guess is really really far in the distance and then just put all of that white down and the more texture the better you guys don't worry about wrinkles with this project at all I wanted I wanted it to be super super textured And then I think I dry it, yep, dry it with the heat gun. And then we will sand off the excess and we are all done with that portion of this project. It is so, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love how it came out, oh my goodness. All right, so because this is like super calming, I chose to put Just Breathe on here just as a reminder like you know just chill breathe in breathe out and good to go so I just made this stencil on my Cricut um I kind of wish that I would have done it stencily but I was concerned about the texture um that the paint might bleed underneath the the stencil so um just using some vinyl there and now I am covering the back so you can see there my failed attempt <laughs> at trying to remove that paper. But this contact paper works perfectly when you want to cover the backs of your projects, you guys. I love using the contact paper. It's so slick and it looks really good. Like it looks like wood grain on the back. It's perfect. And so at first I was using my scissors and then I, you know, grew a brain and grabbed my X-Acto knife and, you know, trimmed off the excess that way. That was much smarter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And so I did notice that the vinyl that I had used for the 
the Just Breathe there. It was too shiny for my for my taste. So I just went over with a little bit of the um, matte Mod Podge and it brought that shine down. So now I'm using those wooden rings again and some half beads that I got off of Amazon. And we are just going to make this you know kind of design it's kind of boho looking a little bit and i oh i really love how this piece came out you guys and with that um little ring i i think i just glued it on crooked so i just pulled it off no big deal threw it back on again and then just lining everything up there continuing on and hot gluing everything to the sign I love this piece you guys I think it's so cool it came out so pretty can you imagine this like on a really big scale oh my goodness I would love to do a humongous version of this it's so so pretty All right, you guys, that is it for our neutral vibes DIYs. I am just loving this wall art. It's so calming. Isn't it chill? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, which one of these was your favorite and what colors you would use. Like, again, this is always just for inspiration. So let me know, would you put a splash of color on that or would you just leave it natural? And I want to give a huge thank you to all of my subscribers, my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and everybody in between. I reached 500,000 views this week. That blows my mind. And that is all thanks to you guys. So I love you. And if you like what you see, do me a solid. Tap that like button maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Adjustments. All right, you guys, so for today's So the vibe this week is very neutral, really calming, you know, promoting inner peace. <laughs> you know, <laughs> inner peace. <laughs> and with all of, no. All right, you guys, so for today's video, we are getting back to the basics. Oh man, that bird, I'm telling you, she's gonna end up in a stew. I gave her a piece of banana, so I hope that that will shush her up for a second. Guess the banana didn't work. Hmm. Bird, 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 bird. Should I bring her out? Should we bring her out? Let's bring her out. All right. Here's the noisy girl. This is Ruby. Mm hmm. Yeah. You're being super noisy, aren't you? Yes, you are. You big fluff. You big fluff. Stop being a turd. Isn't she cute? She is a green cheek conure. And she's 
Driving me bananas. You come up here. Come. Go. Go. There you go. There. She'll hang out. She'll hang out on my shoulder. Feel like a pirate. Arrgh. She does do a few tricks too. But I need more space and not being in front of the camera. And she's a fly. She's a fly.